Hi, welcome to Podman Introduction. Just listen. Containers simplify the consumption of applications with all of their dependencies and default configuration files. Users test drive or deploy a new application with one or two commands instead of following pages of installation instructions. Here is how to find your first container image. If you want to search for BusyBox containers, type podman search BusyBox. The previous command returned a list of publicly available container images on Docker Hub. These container images are easy to consume, but of different levels of quality and maintenance. Let's use the first one listed because it seemed to be well maintained. To run the BusyBox container image, it's just a single command. Podman run dash it docker.io slash library slash busybox and you will get an output with a prompt. You can poke around in the busybox container for a while, but you'll quickly find that running small container with a few Linux utilities in it provides limited value, so exit out by typing exit. There is an old saying that nobody runs an operating system just to run an operating system, and the same is true with containers. It's the workload running on top of an operating system or in a container that's interesting and valuable. Sometimes we can find a publicly available container image for the exact workload we're looking for and it will already be packaged exactly how we want. But more often than not, there is something that we want to add, remove or customize. It could be as simple as a configuration setting for security performance or as complex as adding a complex workload. Either way, containers make it fairly easy to make the changes we need. Container images aren't actually images, they're repositories often made up of multiple layers. These layers can easily be added, saved and shared with others by using a container file or docker file. The single file often contains all the instructions needed to build the new and can easily be shared with others publicly using tools like GitHub. Here is an example of how to build an Nginx web server on top of a Debian-based image using the Docker file maintained by Nginx and published in GitHub. Type podman build-t nginx https colon slash slash git.io slash capital J F 8 O L. Once the image build completes, it's easy to run the new image from a local cache. Type podman run d p 8080 colon 80 engine x. Run curl localhost colon 8080 and you will get an HTML output. Building new images is great, but sharing our work with others lets them review our work, critique how we built them, and offer improved versions. Our newly built Nginx image could be published at quire.io or docker.io to share it with the world. Everything needed to run the Nginx application is provided in the container image. Others could easily pull it down and use it or make improvements to it. Standardizing on container images and container registries enable a new level of collaboration through simple consumption. The simple consumption model is possible because every major container engine and registry server uses the Open Container Initiative or OCI format. This allows users to find, run, build, share and deploy containers anywhere they want. Podman and other container engines like Creo, Docker or Containerd can create and consume container images from Docker.io, Quai.io, an on-premise registry or even one provided by a cloud provider. The OCI image format facilitates this ecosystem through a single standard. For example, if we wanted to share our newly built Nginx container image on Quai.io, it's easy. First log in to Quai by typing podman login quai.io, enter your username and password. Next, tag the image so that we can push it into our user account. Type podman tag localhost slash nginx quai.io slash username slash nginx 
And finally, push the image by typing podman push qui.io slash username slash nginx. You will get some output. Notice that we pushed four layers to our registry and now it's available for others to share. Take a quick look. Type podman inspect qui.io slash username slash nginx and you will get a YAML output. This, to summarize, Podman makes it easy to find, run, build and share containers. Find. Whether finding a container on DuckerHub.io or Quai.io, an internal registry server or directly from a vendor, a couple of Podman search and Podman pull commands make it easy. Run. It's easy to consume pre-built images with everything needed to run an entire application or start from a Linux distribution based image with a Podman run command. Build. Creating new layers with small tweaks or major overhauls is easy with Podman build. Share. Podman lets you push your newly built containers anywhere you want with a single Podman push command. For more instructions on use cases, take a look at our tutorials page. Thank you for listening.